I recently shared my holy grail skincare products, but some of you asked if I could do a drugstore version. So here it is. These are my favorite skincare items that you can find at the drugstore. I'm Dr. Sam Ellis, and I'm a board certified dermatologist. I'm here to help you understand your skin and find skincare products that work for you. First up is the Panoxyl Acne Creamy Wash with 4% benzoyl peroxide. I talked a lot about benzoyl peroxide in my body acne video, but essentially benzoyl peroxide is like the holy grail ingredient of acne skincare. And that's because it's antimicrobial and it's anti-inflammatory and you can't build up a resistance to it like you can for antibiotics. Over the counter benzoyl peroxide preparations can range in strength from two and a half percent all the way up to 10%. And I really like that this Panoxyl one sort of falls in the middle ish at 4%. That's because it makes it gentle enough to use on your face and not be too irritating because one of the main side effects of benzoyl peroxide is that it can be irritating or drying to the skin, but it's totally potent enough to use on the body as well. So to me, it's sort of like a two in one acne product. It can be used to clear existing acne, but also it has this preventative aspect because it does work on keeping the pores unclogged. It prevents those new acne blemishes from ever making it to the surface. The way I like to have my patients use this is typically one time a day. Does not matter if you use it morning or night. It's kind of nice to use in the shower, especially if you have body acne that you're also treating. I tend to have people leave it on their face for about 30 seconds and on their chest, back and shoulders for about two to five minutes, depending on their skin sensitivity. That prolonged time on the skin just gives it a little more time to take its effects essentially. And then you rinse it off. And by having the benzoyl peroxide in this really gentle rinse off formulation, you decrease the risk of irritation. Yes, of course, there are other over-the-counter acne products with benzoyl peroxide, but I just find that this creamy wash is so gentle. It's a very affordable price point at around $12. And I just find that so many of my patients have great success with it. One thing I should also say is that this product is really versatile. You can use it for more than just acne. So if you're prone to really bad body odor, which is usually due to bacterial byproducts colonizing your sweat, you can actually use it in your armpits for 30 seconds or so in the shower to help remove excess bacteria. It's also great for washing the feet. So if you have really stinky feet, getting it between your toes and on the bottom of your feet helps prevent bacterial buildup and keeps your tootsies smelling good. Next up is the Vanacream Gentle Facial Cleanser. And I just have to give a shout out to Vanacream as a brand overall. I think for people who have sensitive skin, they make really amazing products because they make it a point to formulate without a lot of the common allergens and irritants like fragrance and preservatives. I mean, preservatives are not bad, but for people who have super sensitive skin, Sometimes they can cause problems. And then there's no dye in here, there's no lanolin. Again, these are not things that are universally bad, but for people who have really sensitive skin, there's just fewer things that they can tolerate. And I find that Vanna Cream products as a whole tend to work better for these patients. The thing I like about this cleanser is one, you get eight ounces of product. That is a ton of cleanser and it's usually under $10. It's a steal. Second of all, it's just so gentle. And as someone who has dry skin and is rosacea prone, there are some days that my skin is just it's not having it. And I need to have the most basic, sensible skincare possible. And this Vanna Cream Gentle Cleanser is one that I reach for time and time again. I have repurchased it many times over the past five years, maybe more than that. And so for people who really can't tolerate a lot of cleansers, I really like this one. And it's been a holy grail for me for a while. If you know me at all, you know I was not going to make a drugstore favorites or drugstore holy grails without including the La Roche-Posay Tolerian Ultra Moisturizer. This was featured in my original Holy Grail skincare video. So if you want to learn a little more about it, check it out there. This is more of an investment within the drugstore space because it does usually retail for around 30 bucks, but I can just, mm, I was gonna say, I can just tell you, it's so good. If you have sensitive skin, if you feel like moisturizers cause stinging or irritation for you, I just feel like this is such a lovely, easy to use moisturizer that plays nice with other products as well. I feel like every person I recommend this to is like, yeah, good rec. Speaking of facial moisturizers, I have another moisturizing rec for you, and that is the Olay Regenerist Retinol 24 Night Face Moisturizer. As the name suggests, this moisturizer has retinol. And if you don't know what retinol is, retinol is a vitamin A derived compound that helps with sort of all things anti-aging when it comes to skin. It supports collagen, 
elastin, so proteins in the skin that make it look bouncy, glowy, resilient. It also helps refine the pore appearance, the texture and the tone of the skin, as well as helps with hyperpigmentation. So there are just so many amazing things that retinol has to offer in terms of how it can make your skin look and feel. And it's a really nice thing to start incorporating into your skincare regimen, especially after the age of like 25 or so, when a lot of us start to show those initial signs of skin aging. I really love this particular Olay retinol product for a couple of reasons. One, it's in a super, super moisturizing base. And I think that is just so helpful when you're starting a retinol product because the main side effects of retinol are irritation and dryness. So if you're using a retinol product that is super moisturizing, this one has glycerin and dimethicone and niacinamide, all things that support skin hydration and a restored skin barrier, you're just a lot less likely to have that initial discouragement when starting a retinol because you're irritated. I like that this is fragrance free. Again, not because fragrance is bad, but it can be irritating for people with sensitive skin. And you might not have sensitive skin right now, but if you're starting a retinol, that might be one of the potential side effects. So just not having fragrance in there sort of eliminates that variable. This product typically retails for around $40, which whew, that can feel kind of like a hefty price point for a drugstore item. But I think of it like two products in one. It's like a moisturizer and a retinol. And I think it, in the evening, you could totally get away with cleansing your face and just using this and having a completely adequate and actually very good anti-aging skincare routine just in those two steps. I would typically recommend this product for beginner retinol users. So sometimes people ask me like, can I use an over-the-counter retinol like this one and my prescription retinoid? And really there's no need to use both, but I think for people who are starting out, sometimes they're like, oh, just get me on that prescription strength retinoid for anti-aging. And most people's skin just like cannot handle it. So starting with a drugstore option that's over-the-counter is a nice way to just like dip your toe into the retinol pond without overwhelming your skin. And I have recommended this particular product to so many friends who are trying to start getting on the anti-aging train now that we're in our thirties. They have all given really good feedback that this has just been like a really nice, hydrating, moisturizing retinol product to start with. Staying within the theme of retinoids, my next drugstore holy grail is Differin Gel. The generic of this is Adapalene 0.1% Gel. This actually used to be prescription for treating acne and is now available over the counter and has been for many years. And it is one of my go-to acne treatments. Differin Gel or Adapalene Gel is essentially a third generation retinoid. And I sort of talked about this before when I mentioned retinoid but retinoids are these vitamin A derived compounds and they work by essentially helping your skin cells turn over and mature to the surface in a very organized fashion. This helps acne because it prevents the clogging of the initial pore. It's also anti-inflammatory, which is helpful for acne. And then because you're regulating cell turnover in such an organized way, it helps with things like pigmentation and skin tone and texture. Even when patients come to see me in clinic, for the treatment of acne, and oftentimes they are seeking out prescription medication for that, I will often start them on Differin. And the reason for that is because this particular retinoid is known to be more gentle on the skin than traditional Retin-A or Tretinoin. And people think, oh, it's less irritating, so it's obviously less effective, and that's not really true. So for people who have early signs of acne, I will often start them on Adapalene first to get their skin used to the retinoid, and then sometimes I will bump them up to stronger things depending on how their acne responds to this initial intervention. As it says in the product name, it is a very lightweight gel, and the way I will have people use this is I will often have them cleanse their face once a day and then apply a very, very thin layer of the Adapalene or the Differin. And some people are like, well, do I have to apply it in the morning or at night? It doesn't matter. So Adapalene is photostable, meaning that it is not sensitive to breakdown by UV radiation. So you can use it whenever it's convenient for you in the day to use it. I do have a sunscreen in my drugstore Holy Grails. I couldn't not have at least one sunscreen. And it is the Banana Boat Light as Air Sunscreen Lotion SPF 50. If you hate the feeling of heavy body sunscreen and you feel like you're just like sticky and just sort of like transferring it onto everything that you touch, this is the sunscreen for you. It is truly light as air. You put it on and you're like, where did it go? In the best way. It doesn't dry down entirely matte, so it doesn't make your skin feel dry or look dehydrated, but it also doesn't leave this like thick, 
film on the skin. I love that it has 80 minutes of water resistance too. So if you're out and you're doing a sweaty activity, it's totally going to hold up. One thing to keep in mind is that the UV filters in here are all organic or chemical filters. There's no zinc or titanium dioxide in here to give you UV protection. In terms of efficacy, that does not matter. This is still a broad spectrum sunscreen that protects you from both UVA and UVB. I don't feel like zinc sunscreens are superior to sunscreens with organic filters. And I really prefer the organic filters for my body sunscreen because it just goes on so much better. And I don't feel like I'm transferring white to like everything that I touch. So if you are like me and you just don't like the feeling of body sunscreen or just being covered in something like sticky and heavy, try the light as air sunscreen by Banana Boat. It is awesome. And then if you try it, Tell me how much you loved it because I know you're going to love it. I have a semi makeup item on here. I don't think it really counts as makeup, but that is the Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm. I have used their tinted lip balms for like a decade, maybe more. And I use the shade Red Dahlia. That is my favorite. It's what I'm wearing on my lips now. This is just such a comfortable formula on the lips. It is hydrating. It is moisturizing. It has this really beautiful sheer tint of color so you can put it on on the go and not look like you just chugged a glass of Kool-Aid, but it stays for a long time. And the reason for that is it's not petrolatum based. So things that have petrolatum are really great at moisturizing and they are great occlusives and I love them. And I'm about to talk about a product with that in it, but things that are more wax based tend to just hold better on the skin. And so that's why I like this particular product is because you put it on and then it stays and you don't feel like you need to check in on it every hour. Even though I love this product, the physician in me and the dermatologist in me does have to mention that if you are someone who is really prone to sensitivity of their lips, you might want to avoid this just because it has so many different botanical extracts and oils in it. And people who tend to have sensitive skin can get reactions to these types of products. So proceed with caution. The good news is it's like $6. So if you try it and it's not for you, you haven't lost out on everything. Another drugstore product that I love and I actually talked about in my other skincare holy grails video, so I won't go into too much detail, is the CeraVe Healing Ointment. This is like $12 for three ounces. I really like that it's in a tube because you don't have to like dip your fingers in <laughs> to uh, get it out. It is a little hard to squeeze. Oh, of course it squeezes out perfectly now, but I love using this on my lips and on my cuticles as well as on super dry areas like my elbows and knees. And I just find that it stays a little better on the skin than like pure Vaseline, although I do love pure Vaseline as well. So if you want more info on that, check out my original skincare holy grails video. Moving into body moisturizers. There are a ton that I love, but a couple have made my favorites list. And one is the Amlactin Daily Moisturizing Body Lotion. I don't have it here right now because I personally use this more in the winter time, but this is such a wonderful, hydrating, lightweight body lotion that utilizes the beneficial properties of lactic acid. Lactic acid is an exfoliant, so it helps slough those outer layers of dead dry skin cells. And it's also a humectant. So it helps pull water from the deeper layers of the skin and from the environment to help hydrate the skin's surface. I love this for my patients who have rough and bumpy skin. So they might have keratosis pilaris, the little chicken skin or bumps on the upper outer arms or on the outer thighs or on the buttocks that bother them. And amlactin is a really great first product to start with because it is both effective and really gentle. And as we age, our skin gets so much more dry. So using something like amlactin, that's not only going to help exfoliate, but also help hydrate is a great way to keep your skin looking and feeling good. A bottle of this usually costs somewhere between like 13 and 17 bucks or so, which is pretty standard for a moisturizer that also has alpha hydroxy acids. One thing I also want to say is because this has lactic acid, which is an alpha hydroxy acid, it will increase your sun sensitivity a little bit. So if you are using this on exposed areas of your skin, you definitely want to make sure that you're also applying sunscreen during the day. One other body lotion that I wanted to give a shout out to is the Nivea Essentially Enriched Body Lotion. Well, you can see I buy it in a very large bottle. This is probably my most commonly used body lotion and it's because it is so nourishing. It feels so luxurious on the skin and it just gives your skin such a beautiful glow. Like afterward, you don't look greasy or shiny, but you do glow a little bit and like 
Who doesn't want that? The main moisturizers in here are mineral oil, glycerin, and petrolatum. And I think a lot of people hear mineral oil or petrolatum and they're like, ooh, doesn't that come from crude oil? Isn't that gonna be carcinogenic? No, the mineral oil and the petrolatum that is used in cosmetic products is highly, highly, highly refined. It is not carcinogenic. It is not problematic. So I just encourage people not to be afraid of products with mineral oil in them. They're not dangerous. I think that this lotion is so rich and creamy that it almost behaves like a cream. And creams tend to come in jars, they tend to be really, really thick. And although that is what we commonly recommend as dermatologists for people who have really dry or eczema prone skin or atopic dermatitis, not everyone can use a cream because it's not enjoyable to use. It feels too sticky on the skin. They won't be compliant with it because it just feels too heavy. And I think this lotion kind of bridges the gap there where you get a lot of moisturization. It feels incredibly nourishing. You have prolonged moisturization with it, but it's not as heavy as a cream. And I think people might be a little more compliant when using it. We are almost done. Time to get into the sexy stuff foot cream. <laughs> this is the Carousel Intensive Foot Repair. And it's not really my holy grail because I don't have problem with dry cracked heels, but husband does and this works great for him. So this uses glycerin, salicylic acid, petrolatum, and urea. And urea is both something that helps hydrate the skin. It's a humectant, but it also helps exfoliate the skin. And this stuff applied to the heels, covered in a sock, done regularly for a couple of nights will just transform dry cracked heels like nobody's business. Like I said, the way you would do this is typically applying it at night because it is such an occlusive agent. It's gonna be slippery to just like walk around on during the day. But the way I teach my patients to use this is a soak and smear method. So after you have soaked in a bath or taken a shower and that heel skin is really hydrated, you're going to put on a generous layer of carousel foot cream, and then you are going to cover it in a sock. And it doesn't mean you have to sleep in the socks. Not everyone can fall asleep with socks, but at least if you can keep your feet covered for a couple of hours to really help that product penetrate and work its magic and really just keep it in place so it doesn't slip and slide all over your home and on the floor, that's how it's going to work best. And you often do not need to use this more than a few days before you start seeing some really amazing effects in terms of it healing dry cracked heels and helping those fissures so those breaks in the skin repair. We are on my last product and that is Vanna Cream Antiperspirant slash deodorant. I posted this on my Instagram when I very first started. So many of you told me you tried this and loved it and you're welcome. No, just kidding. But this is such a nice antiperspirant. Like I said, with Vanna Cream, they don't include a lot of common allergens and irritants. So if you have sensitive armpits, this sort of like eliminates all the possibilities that could be irritating for you except for the aluminum salt. So this does have aluminum in it and that's why it works so well as an antiperspirant. It's an incredibly effective ingredient. There are some people who are sensitive or allergic to aluminum who will not be able to tolerate this, but more often than not, I find that people in my practice come in with armpit dermatitis, so inflammation of the skin of their armpits, and it's not due to the aluminum in their products. They're usually avoiding aluminum and using natural deodorant, and they're having a problem with the essential oils or the other fragrances or the baking soda that's in those types of deodorants. Something to clarify, antiperspirants are labeled antiperspirants because they truly work to stop sweating. So that's what the aluminum in this product is doing. If something's called a deodorant and not an antiperspirant, it's deodorizing. It is just covering up the sweaty smell and not making you sweat any less. So I much prefer antiperspirant deodorants, ones that actually help me with sweating because it's summertime, I get sweaty in clinic, sometimes my adrenaline's going, I'm doing a procedure, whatever it may be. Like, yeah, I don't wanna smell, but I also just don't wanna be sweating either. And so this product is incredibly effective for that too. Invariably, when I talk about antiperspirant, the subject of aluminum and the association with breast cancer or aluminum being carcinogenic comes up. And I just encourage you to look at the data that is out there. The major cancer societies for the United States, Canada, the UK, Australia, have all come forth with statements saying that there is no good data to associate topical aluminum application with breast cancer. So it is not something that I'm worried about. It is not something I counsel my patients about in terms of avoiding aluminum. If they have a history of breast cancer, there's no reason to do that. So if you wanna use aluminum in your deodorant because you don't wanna stink and sweat, 
go for it. Oof, that is a roundup on some of my absolute favorite drugstore skincare items. I would love to hear what your drugstore holy grails are. And if you've tried any of the products that I recommended, go ahead and put those in the comments below. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe. Come follow me on Instagram at Dr. Samantha Ellis, and I'll see you next time.